This is my second shot at the outer loop. I mean, uh, last year I didn't get a chance to do it. Year before I did um, once, but the problem was uh, didn't have. I had some brake pad issues. I couldn't get the right brake pads. I ended up having to use some like high performance street pads that just weren't up to par. And uh, yeah, I need to say it really affected me. And my best time, I think, back uh, that year was uh, 2 minutes, 24 seconds. Oh, lightning. Lightning in the bottle. My gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So uh, this year, <laughs> you think I would come out, you know, loaded for bear. But uh, nah, couldn't do it. First race of the weekend. I didn't do nothing in the off season. this first race back weekend back and uh normally i do winter x events i try to go somewhere do a track day somewhere or something but yeah i did a whole lot of nothing and um it snowed so damn much too this winter so needless to say is this my first time back i had tires brakes i had all the whole i'd been stocking up for winter for the spring and so i had everything but uh, when I went through the car, uh, I was like, eh, brake pads still got a lot of life left in them. Uh, tires are still got some life in them. And even though I was planning and was having issues with them last time I was out, I figured they're good enough for the first weekend back in action. You know, do so I really want to try out, break in my new pair of uh, tires? Mm, not really. So uh, I took the car in, went through, brought it into the shop, changed all fluids, you know, double checked everything, you know, all that fun jazz, make sure she's ready to go. And uh, pretty much was, and yeah. So it was on like Donkey Kong. Didn't change nothing. Same exact setup as last time I was there. And uh, certain things I noticed. It was a great day, weather was perfect. 53 degrees was like the high sunny it was great um in the morning it was cold left my house uh really shocked about one thing that kind of took me off guard and that was i blew the tires off my car. <laughs> like i would hit the gas and uh the tires would light up now these are hand cook uh ventus or td ventus uh, 221s or whatever they're a track tire very hard compound the hardest compound actually they have and uh yeah well they don't like the cold i guess a little bit uh all the way to the track i was like kind of timid because i was like these things are just i've never had it light up that easy um by getting on the gas and because of that little simple fact i decided well instead of trying to get my front row spot I think I'll just start mid pack, you know, take it easy, see what happens, let the tires warm up. And and I ain't kidding you, I'm pulling on to the track and I hit third gear and I light the tires up again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Uh, and so I was like, oh man, I was a little worried going into turn one. I was like, is this thing just gonna skate right off the track? It made it. And I was really timid the first couple laps. And then I figured it got some heat in the tires and I was able to push a little more warm. And the first session, right off the bat, I did, a, I think, a 219 right off the bat. Like 220, 219. So right away, I was way faster than uh, the last time I was there. My very, you know, with the brake issue, I should say. And uh, I was pretty happy with that. Um... The track, man, run the outer loop, it is a horsepower track. I mean, I feel bad for anybody in a Miata or anything less than like 350, 400 horsepower because it's like, what can you do? I mean, you hang a few corners, but that's about it. You hit that long straightaway and it's like, pfft, you just give up too much with a low horsepower car. Speeds I was hitting, I was a little surprised. I was seeing 142 on the speedometer, 142, 143, 
GPS said it was more like the highest speed I got was like 139. So a little bit of error there, but not bad. And running the outer loop is just fast. And I struggled with a couple sections that I could not get right. And no matter how hard I tried, I could not get it right. I, uh, and it, it was kind of frustrating the way, it's kind of weird, I guess. It's when you're doing things all right and you're like, gosh, I can't go any faster. You know, then you start going, huh, the tires this, the brakes that, or, you know, I have too much window tint, you know, whatever mental excuse you want to come up with kind of justifies it. What I don't like is when I'm losing, where I'm doing laps and I know where I'm screwing up, but yet for some reason I cannot put it together. And this one of the major is the same two spots last time I remember I really struggled with, and that is going into turn one. It's funny going into turn one off that straight when you're doing 137, 138, you know, high 130s. And you break down and uh, to, well, I know that the car, I've gone in there about 70, 68 is kind of the speed you want to go in there. Anything more than that, it'll start drifting pretty hard, depending on the tires. The tires aren't the best shape, so I wasn't going to really push it. But getting from 137 to 67 and that distance is where I struggled. Um... I've gone into turn one when we just run the west course in four wheel drifts so many times I can't even count. Uh, and, but it's a little different because I can only hit about 110 when I go at the end of the straight when it's just the west side. 137, it's just a whole new can of worms and getting my brain to adjust. And at first, it's the first weekend back at the track, you know, all this shit. And I was struggling because I was breaking too early. I was going in there way, like, every time I would try to adjust a little thing, I would just, every time, I would just be like, whoa, I could have gone in so much deeper, so much deeper, and so much faster. But I would just, I would just break too early. I mean, it's one thing you're going at speeds. I mean, if I would, it's just intimidating. Because, you know, if I lose it and go off there, like, I'm going to stop sliding somewhere in Wyoming. I mean, the thing, it's just you're going so damn fast going in there. And I just, I was trying to incrementally go in there a little faster and I would get it right like a couple times and then I would be right back to screwing it up going in there way too slow. And it was just something, I kind of wish, because I only did one day, I only did Sunday. I wish I would have had a couple days where I could actually just like concentrate on working on that little section there. Because I know I'm giving up a crap ton of time right there. Just because I'm just braking way slow and I'm, I'm too much brakes and I'm going in that corner speed was just too damn low. It's just too, I needed more corner speed. I could carry more corner speed. But trying to get myself to be able to pull that off every time or shoot even half the time was just was next to impossible. And the, so I knew I was losing time there. And the best time I got of the weekend, let's get that out of the way, um, recorded was a 117, but I got a really good feeling. I had the last two sessions, my tire didn't quite work. And I swear to God, because there were some things I got right that I, there was probably a 216 in there. I really believe there was a 216 in there instead of just the 217, which I got in the ones that I did record. But it, that was a massive improvement over the first time I went. 224 to 217, I mean, yeah, that's the difference. And it was mainly brakes. Uh, tires were, even these tires worn out, uh, I mean, they're track R comp tires. So, I mean, they're probably still a little better than uh, the street tires I was running the first time. And, but I, I just couldn't get that little section down. Um, now coming out of turn one and all the way back to the Black Rock hairpin. I had that dialed. Um, I was actually doing it pretty easily without brakes. Um, and on the throttle, like my speeds were pretty good. I was being able to carry enough core speed to get to close to like in the high teens for miles an hour on the back straight. And, that, and that's pretty impressive. If I can hit in the high teens mile an hour wise in the back straight, um, 
I know my times are going to be pretty decent. It's when I struggle to like go 100. If I'm doing just like 103, 104, then I know my times are not going to be that great because I'm, I'm not having enough drive coming on that back straight. But I was doing good. I was getting that time. The second section I was screwing up horrifically was uh, where the west and the east track combine. Um, where you come down and you have a nice, fast, sweeping right-hander, 80-something mile an hour right-hander, hit the brakes and go into the attitudes, left, right. I was trying to figure out what I could take that corner at. And that barrier that's off there, for some reason, was talking to me. And it, and it was calling my name, and I didn't really want to find it and hit it. Uh, so going into that turn, I was struggling big time. Like, I was trying to, okay, I'll, I'll just back it off, let the brakes a little bit, going in there, try it at 82. I think the fastest I recorded on my data was like 87 uh, that I went through there, and it held. I was a little nervous, won't lie. But the problem also, besides getting that speed figured out right there, was braking for the attitudes. I was braking way too much for the attitudes. Um, I was looking at my speeds. They were in, it was, I was hitting them from in the 50s to low 60s, when I should be hitting the attitudes easily uh, in the high 60s, like 60 mile an hour, like 60 to right there, 68, 67 ideally is what I should be entering them at. Um, and then accelerating through and out. And I, I, I was, ex but coming off that high speed right hander, I was just breaking way too much. And, and again, just like in turn one, I was having an issue with getting the timing down, the braking right to catch the entrance of the attitudes and come out. And yeah, as I said, I needed more time with that, but I just, this is my second time, you know, it's only second time I ever had to deal with that kind of scenario. And it was just, it was messing with me. I just could not get it. But besides that, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, everything else was working pretty good. Uh, the track was, you know, when you run the east and the west enough, you know, you kind of got things dialed in. It's just a matter of piecing them together. And pulling down high 130s down the straightaway was decent enough. Um, I just wish I could get those two areas figured out and I really think I could shave a, a significant amount of time off. Uh, I just, I just could see it big time. So, but all in all, it was a good weekend. Uh, the car just kicks ass and runs. Still 235 with tires, you know, doing those speeds. Yeah, can't, can't complain in that regard. Um, but yeah, pretty much it. So, all in all, it was a good weekend. Didn't crash. Didn't lose it. Passed people. Um, not a lot of people in the event, in the class. And plus, it's full track, so you got plenty of room. And, yeah, it was all good. Can't really complain. That's it.